Hey everyone on the other end of the internet, this is Kelly from Nice Lady Productions. It's so great to be back with you today for an in-depth review. This is a monitor that's going to really tick a lot of the boxes for people looking for a reasonably priced monitor that has 4K capabilities and that will really provide the monitoring they need for a director, producer, or even the DP on set before we jump into it, let's do a spec check. So we're looking at a 4K UHD native resolution monitor. Lilliput also offers a 23 and 28 inch version of this monitor if you're interested in something bigger. To keep the monitor protected, it comes with this really nice metal case. You've got the front and the back and you've got this uh, great little pocket for all your accessories and in the front it's all padded up so that you don't scratch a monitor. If you loosen a few screws on the front and you pull the monitor out, you can have this rack mountable. So the monitor can be powered with a regular plug or you have a choice when you buy it of it coming with a V-mount or a gold mount on the back. If you want to power this with a V-mount or gold mount, I suggest you leave it in the case. And if you do, then you could just put the case on a cart and call it a day and you could have a couple of these monitors on a cart for camera A and camera B. If you wanna mount the monitor to a C-stand, you really need to get a VESA mount. Kupo has a really nice monitor mount that goes to a C-stand or a light stand that's inexpensive. And the only thing with this monitor is the place that you would plug in your V-mount or gold mount battery is also the place you're going to plug in your VESA mount. If you choose to do that, you're going to take off the V-mount or gold mount battery adapter and either power it through your wall or you're going to power it through V-mount or gold mount using something like this. Now I got this from China and it attaches to anything really. You just kind of unscrew it and attaches to a light stand. So you could attach this to the base of your C stand, then click in your Kupo monitor arm, have the battery running below it, and boom, you're set up for something super portable. And on top of it, you could even have your wireless connection on the back of this. And now you're going fully wireless. So let's talk about the connections with this monitor. You have tally light, you have VGA input, uh, DVI input, and you have four HDMI inputs. Only one of those is HDMI 2, and that HDMI 2 supports 4K at 60 hertz. The rest support HDMI 1.4, and so 4K at 30 hertz. So the HDMI uh, supports from 4K down to 486i, and the SDI goes from 1080p at 60 frames per second all the way down to 480i. So you have a lot of variety there. But if you're going 4K out your camera SDI, it's not going to show 4K footage because you have to use HDMI to get the 4K. All right, let's talk about features. When you plug any device into this, it will send it into sleep mode if it is not um, sending out a signal. But otherwise, we've got HDMI 1 all the way through. Here you can see an image I shot on the Red Raven camera, and it's just being output to the monitor in 4K. I'm running it out from my laptop to the monitor, using the monitor as basically a post-production monitor, which uh, it's working perfectly. There's not really a lot of monitors on the market that would go head to head with this. I mean, really Lilliput is setting itself apart by creating this more um, inexpensive version of a broadcast director's monitor. This is not a Flanders Scientific monitor that has all the waveforms and vector scopes and uh, LUTs and LUT building and all that stuff that you're used to. This is a monitor where you're going to be outputting any of those vector scopes or any of those waveforms to this monitor. So let's quickly run through the features. There is 
an underscan and overscan. And sometimes with some cameras, you might need uh, to use that function. There's different aspect ratios you can set up. You have frames showing you the different aspect ratios. You have a center marker and uh, just a screen marker showing you the safe area. There's definitely color temperature changes and brightness and contrast actually makes a huge difference when you're setting those with this monitor and like some out there. There's image flip uh, check field so that you can see red, green, and blue. This monitor comes with quad view, which is very unique in this market. And so you can show up between one to four monitor feeds peaking feature that's built into the monitor just kind of looks like it was slightly sharpened. It's hard to tell that it is there, but it is there. All of my features in camera, I could send out to the monitor, which is great. The nice thing about it is it's high resolution. And even on a 1080p output, you can see here from DSLR outputting to 1080p, it looks great. It looks fantastic. And I actually found the color very accurate for what it was. They calibrate it in-house. I don't know what they calibrate it to, but they say they do. One of the things I've noticed in shooting as long as I have is that I cannot stand finding out in post-production that I overexposed, underexposed, or misframed an image because I didn't see something or God forbid it was out of focus. And so having a proper monitor is so key to that. And then having something as big as a 15.6 inch monitor on set, it, it, it just gives the opportunity for everyone else who's working with you, whether it's your client or it's the, the director or the producer, an opportunity to really see what you are shooting in camera. And having had one and then having bought two, I can't say enough good things about it. So that is my review of the Lilliput BM150 4K monitor. If you want to see more reviews like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see just the goings on every day, I am on Instagram at Nice Lady Productions and on Twitter at Nice Lady Pro. And I'm always pontificating about something. See you later.